So it's kind of funny. Sometimes I get people that ask me, like, what doesn't grind your gears? Uh, like, why are you doing this, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I got to tell you, um, these videos, I've, I've said it publicly before a few times, like, I'm not excited to do them. I, I know that people like them, and that's why I do them. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just one of those things. But at the same time, I have an appreciation for them because, really, these things save me a fortune on therapy bills let me tell you it is just awesome so uh yeah let's get into this one this is bikes beards and brews let's kick that intro hey guys welcome back to the channel before we kick this one off make sure you like comment subscribe hit that bell notification New videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. That's a lot of therapy. That's a lot of therapy. <laughs> Let's do the due diligence real quick. Do you want to save 15% on a Cardo communicator? Check my referral link down below. Do you want to support me on my coffee page? Kind of like Patreon, except Patreon doesn't steal all my money. Well, check that link down below too. Do you want to know why I'm asking you for money? Trust me, it's not for me. I'm using it for a good cause. Check that link down below as well. So let's just jump right into this one and let's talk about YouTube ads and why they grind my gears. Now, first and foremost, YouTube back in the day, like before, like they've changed their algorithms and found other ways to kind of like, you know, gouge you and get more money from you and all this other stuff. It used to be if you were a smaller content creator, you wouldn't have ads in front of your videos. YouTube would not put them there. Once you got to a thousand, um, what is it? A thousand subscribers, 4,000 uh, view hours in a year and some other goofy crap. Then you could apply to be part of the YouTube partnership program and you could actually have the ads and then you get a little bit of kickback for those ads. You might've noticed that I now have ads in the beginning and at the ends of my videos. Um, I put the ads in there specifically for a few different reasons. First off, I make my ads skippable. <laughs> the chickens here have wonderful eyes before we harvest them so you can eat them. Why do they put the skip ad button so late? I'm not gonna skip the ad now, I'm invested. So you can watch them real quick, like you decide you don't like them and move on, whatever. I might get a penny out of the deal. And like my coffee page, I'm going to use that money towards like my, my toy drive at the end of the year. So basically everything I take in on this channel is going to a good cause. It's not me trying to support myself. So this is what actually goes to the point of grinding my gears. You have so many content creators out there right now that are so determined to hit that 1,000 subscribers, so determined to hit that 4,000 views. Why? So they can get monetized. And I've talked about this before in the past. Look, man, when you've got 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 view hours, you are not retiring. Calm down. You're lucky if you're getting like 10 bucks a month. Let's rein this all in. And I... I get that over time you can build up your fan base, you can build up your viewership and stuff, but a lot of you just really like to jump the gun and go for it just right out of the gate. So I'll let you in on a little industry secret. With YouTube, you can actually, once you upload your video, you can decide if you want any ads, if you want skippable ads, if you want non-skippable ads, if you want both, and if you want mid-scene ads. And what they do is YouTube decides a good break in your video when they can actually pop in an ad. And spoiler alert, I don't know if you've ever seen these. Of course you have, because plenty of people who just keep doing these things. They are never- We'll come back with more Double Dare after this very important commercial message. Never in a good place. It's just like YouTube's like, oh look, mid-sentence of a joke. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday comes again. Cut right in there. Yeah, that's great. No problem. And they, they actually have a time, so every couple minutes you see more. So the longer the video is, the more commercials you see. And creators who do this absolutely grind my gears. Because let me tell you, I've tried to sit through a longer video before because it was informational, it was something that I needed and I was trying to get what I needed out of that video. And I get that you're trying to make a little bit of money and I'm fine with that. Put an ad in front, put an ad at the end, that's cool. If you've got like a 25 minute video, I, I'm a little flexible with a skippable ad in the middle, but not too much, like rein that shit in. Here comes my date, I met him on the internet. He's a French model. Uh, 
Bonjour. And like, it, it was like every two or three minutes, there was an ad in this person's video. And it was the most maddening, mind numbing thing on the face of the planet. If you tried to skip forward on the video, you had to watch the ad anyway. This, this is out of control and people just keep doing these. Let me try and like break this to you guys. Less is more. So like when I turn on a video, if I see like non-skippable ads and stuff, there's a fair chance I might not even watch that video unless it's something I really, really want to see. If it's something that I'm on the fence about or, you know, you reached out to me and you're like, hey, can you help support my channel by watching this? I get it. I'm a smaller creator. I, I appreciate when people come to my channel and watch it and I try and return that favor to other like content, content creators. But when you're like, when I like turn on your video and I'm not so sure and then there's non-skippable skippable there's your video oh well what's well, commercial real men of genius real men of genius commercial 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 when you've got more commercials than the goddamn tv <laughs> like it's time for me to move on and let me tell you like a lot of you guys you you just need to stop with this i mean i'll let you in on another secret if you've got like an ad in the middle of your video, if that first part of your video didn't catch me in the first place, I don't give a damn what the end of the video is. No, no, no. It's supposed to sound like this. Avocados from Mexico. I'm clicking off and going somewhere else. And I know I'm not alone on this. In fact, if you are also like that, go ahead and sound off down below. Maybe some of these content creators who are doing this dumb shit will get the message as they happen to stumble their asses over here real quick. Is your shoulder strap too tight and annoying? Introducing the Titty Bear, the cute little guy that eliminates all those problems. It's like... After the commercial, you could literally say, oh, and by the way, bikes, beards, and brews, all I need you to do is post a thumbs up in my comments and I will give you a million dollars. And I'm telling you right now, you are never going to have to pay out that million dollars because I'm not going to be there and I'm not going to be watching it. When the heat is on, the pain is gone. Like, you need to just stop with this stuff. For those of you who are like, oh, well... I need this, it's it's how I support myself, it's how I support this and that. Yeah, I'm sorry that you've made so many bad life decisions that you've decided that you and a couple GoPros are gonna be your financial future. Don't blame that on me and don't try and force me to watch like 50 of your freaking commercials and ads. Epridge Farm remembers. Cause you try to make money off me watching you while you sit there and decide what you're gonna order off the menu of a Starbucks. You're an idiot, just stop. Like this stuff is just going too far. Like you need to like just scale back on these ads. YouTube is bad enough with all the crap they do and I understand that if you're just doing ads at the beginning and the end or no ads and, or you know just skippable ads, you're making less money, I get that. but it's kind of par for the course. It's like starting up a local band. You're, you're gonna start up that local band, you're gonna practice your songs, you're gonna get good at your craft, you're gonna buy like, you know, your merchandise, you're gonna pay for like, you know, music to be made and record it and all this stuff. And then you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna go play at a shit dive club for years to come to like maybe five people that you brought on your own in the hopes of building a fan base to one day get to a stadium. You're not gonna just all of a sudden like record, put everything out and be like, oh, cool. We are now the headliners in Metallica's opening for us at, you know, Gillette Stadium. You're an idiot if you think that. And if you're treating like YouTube like that, if you're treating like this whole platform like that, like you think that you have brought like the most amazing thing to YouTube that is all of a sudden going to revolutionize it and you are like the best. On there, There is over like, I want to say it's like 5,000 hours of like material that is loaded up to YouTube like every second of the day. So just like me, look at me, look at me, just like me, you are not special. <laughs> you, there is nothing you're doing that a thousand other content creators, bare minimum, aren't doing as well. And if they're doing it without ads, no one cares about you. <laughs> like, you need to rein this stuff in. These ads are getting out of control. You're on notice, you grind my gears, knock it off.
Hey guys, I hope you liked that one. And uh, yeah, I mean, even when I went to ads, I was available for ads long before I did ads. And I was on the fence about it. I was on the fence about it for a while because I was like, you know, I, I don't want to do this. I don't, I don't want to have ads. I just want to put my content out. And I was like, well, YouTube is literally putting ads in front of my videos, whether I want them there or not. So might as well make a few bucks off of it. But I choose not to have mid uh, roll ads and I choose not to have non skippable ads um, because I don't want it to be annoying. And I want you guys to hang out and watch my videos. So, um, yeah, I mean, think about it, content creators. If you're putting out a video and the first couple minutes is not so good, I mean, if you're putting out a video where it's like, I don't know, you, you resurrected bum bites or something, yeah, maybe I'll sit through a few ads <laughs> to watch that stuff. But if you're like, oh, check out the stuff I'm reviewing from wish.com, now a word from our sponsor. Uh, I'm not hanging out, I'm not. <laughs> like, that's, that's your heads up, that's your notice. Do with it as you please, for real. But uh, yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share this video with friends, share it with family. Share it with that one dork you know who puts out like 20 minute long YouTube videos and there's a commercial every 30 seconds and he thinks that this is his 401k. He likes it. Hey Mikey. He loves this stuff, trust me. And I'll see you all on the flip side.